Okay, so question number 10. Draw all aldehydes and ketones with the formula C5H10O. Okay, so at first let's draw out all the different aldehydes we could get with this formula. So an aldehyde is when the carbon has a double bonded oxygen and this is at the end oops double bonded oxygen at the end of the chain. But I'm just going to say at the end. So first let's draw out our five carbons. So one, two, three, four, five. So uh, when you draw just the line structure of a compound, each of these different points corresponds to a carbon atom, and it's already assumed that all the hydrogens are there as well, so each of these have invisible hydrogens attached to it, but for clarity we don't include those. So these are all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons and all the hydrogens attached. So an aldehyde, again, is this double bond, and we know it's at the end because on the other side of the aldehyde, there's a hydrogen. So this is an example of the simplest aldehyde you could have with the formula C5H10O. So now we just kind of experiment with all the different types of structures that you could get. So let's say we had a four carbon chain with the al aldehyde at the end and a methyl group right here. This is also C5H10O. Now let's experiment again if we had that same four carbon chain, we can draw the methyl group on this carbon now instead. And then I think our last option for an aldehyde would be a three, a three carbon long chain. And our aldehyde right here. And this had two methyl groups attached to it. So this is another example that you could have. So I think those are all the different options we could have for an aldehyde. Now let's do the same thing for the ketones with the same formula. So ketones are similar to aldehyde in which they contain a double bonded oxygen, except ketones are found in the middle. So again, let's draw our most simplest 5-carbon chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a ketone would be in the middle right here. We can try another 5-carbon chain, and the ketone can be smack dab in the middle, like right here on carbon 3. Or we could have a four carbon chain and have the ketone right there. Okay, so these are the three different ketones that you could have with the formula C5H10. 
So now let's see what the junior tutor said. Aldehyde is a class of organic compounds in which a carbon atom shares a double bond with an oxygen atom, a single bond with a hydrogen atom, and a single bond with another atom or group of atoms designated as R in general chemical formulas and structural, structure diagrams. The functional group of an aldehyde is a carbonyl group bonded to a hydrogen atom and a carbon atom. Aldehydes with the formula C5H10 are given as, a, I guess, below. I was given as above. So here they have the simplest aldehyde five carbon chain. Now this is a four carbon chain with a methyl group, a three carbon chain with two methyl groups, and then another four carbon chain with the methyl group is closer to the aldehyde. So those are the four different structures. For all the ketones, the functional group of a ketone is a carbonyl group bonded to two carbon atoms. So it's in the middle. Ketones with the formula C5H10 are the following. So this is the one that's right in the middle. Uh, this is one where you could have a four-membered uh, carbon chain. Oh, I forgot to draw with an additional methyl group so that you could have five carbons. And then lastly, you could also just have a ketone on the second carbon of the chain. So this solution is correct. Thank you.